Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Optifine in Minecraft 1.17 for the first time, honestly, ever in my memory of Minecraft. And I've been around since 2010. Optifine dropped on launch day, release day, of a brand new version of Minecraft. And today we're going to be taking you and showing you exactly how to get it the same day it came out, the same day that Minecraft 1.17 came out. Now I will say, Shaders is not currently working with Optifine. However, it might be when you're watching this video. I'm guessing a week after this video comes out. Optifine and shaders will be working together, but be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we will be posting a video the day shaders works with Optifine. We'll post a video on it for you all to enjoy and all that stuff and be able to get shaders. Also, on top of that, there are other different issues and glugs and glitches that you'll find with Optifine because it is a pre-release version and we'll see what I mean by that a little later in this video. However, we are going to show you exactly how to get Optifine today. First and foremost, though, we do have much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you want to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends, check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to xyz slash apex to get your server up and running we actually love and trust apex so much that we have our own server played our breakdowncraft.com on them so if you want to check out apex check them out at the first link down below the breakdown to xyz slash apex to get your server up and running nevertheless let's go ahead and get optifine the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below that's actually going to take you here this is our in-depth guide for getting optifine when you land here actually this video you're watching will be right here i was scrolled down because this is 1.16 and this is a 1.17 tutorial but then scroll down the page and once you scroll down you'll find the download optifine button here. Click on this green download Optifine button and it will take us to Optifine's official download page. Once you're here, you want to click preview versions, right? As you can see, it says Minecraft 1.17 and then click on preview versions. Now, you may not have a preview version. It may just say Minecraft 1.17 and if it just lists a version, click on mirror next to that. However, for 1.17 currently, you have to click on preview versions and then you have to click on mirror here. So again, once you get to the Optifine download page, click on Preview Versions, and then click on Mirror under Minecraft 1.17. When you click on Mirror, it's going to take you to a download page like this for this specific preview version of Minecraft, where you then want to click on this purple download button. When you click on that, in the bottom left, you will go ahead and have uh, Optifine start downloading for Minecraft 1.17. Make sure it does say Optifine somewhere in the file. Then go ahead and click Keep on Google Chrome. Almost at Firefox, you're going to need to save it in the center of your screen, and that's no big deal. Just save it in the center of your screen like you normally would anything else that you're downloading on Mozilla Firefox. Same thing on Google Chrome, just keep it in the bottom left. Now if we minimize our browser. Minecraft's already open. That's my bad. Need to close out of that. If we refresh right here, we'll be able to see there is Preview Optifine. So right click and then click refresh and it's on my desktop. For you, it probably isn't on your desktop though. It's probably going to be in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen and then go ahead and once you open that, like right like so, type in downloads and then have this downloads file folder. Click on that and then in here, you will find Optifine, right? You'll find Optifine here. Drag this to your desktop just for ease of use. Once Optifine is on your desktop, we want to go ahead and right click on it, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. It's then going to open up the Optifine installer here. Now, what if you don't have Java there? What if you don't have when you right click and click on open with Java TM platform SE binary? Or what if you do and you click on it and it gives you an error, right? It gives you like a JNI error, for example. Well, in that case, what you want to do is go to the description down below and go to this tutorial. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, this is a Minecraft mod, so you want to go through this tutorial. It's a quick and easy three-step tutorial that will show you exactly how to get Java, specifically the Java JDK, which is required for for Optifine installed, allowing you to then right click on Java. Now, if you do still have issues after, you know, basically getting Optifine installed, you still can't open it after you install Java. You want to then go ahead and run the jar fix. This is also linked down below and it shows you exactly how to run the jar fix. It's a quick and easy, again, three-step tutorial to do that. Nevertheless, we minimize our browser here. We can right click on Optifine. Now that you have Java, you can click on open with and you have Java TM platform SE binary. If you had it before, it didn't work. You've went and installed the new version of Java. That's an updated version of Java, everybody. So even if you have this here, you need to go do that because it's updated. And then let's go ahead and click on that and click OK. Now it's going to open up the Optifine installer here where we just want to click on the install button in the bottom left. As you can see, this does say for Minecraft 1.17. Click on install in the bottom left. Goes ahead, it does its thing, starts installing. I believe I clicked the install. There it goes. Optifine is installed. I wish they put like a loading bar there. They don't. It just kind of freezes and then it works. Optifine is successfully installed though, as you can see. We can go ahead and click OK there and it will close out of the Optifine installer. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so. 
And then once we open up the Minecraft launcher here, we want to come to the bottom left. See this little arrow to the left of the green play button? Click on that, and then in here, you'll most likely have an Optifine profile. If you do, awesome. Click on it, click play, and then you want to understand that you're playing mod in Minecraft. That's all you're saying there. You understand you're playing mod in Minecraft, and then click play. Now, if you don't have Optifine in this, or you do have Optifine, and it doesn't say 1.17-Optifine, here's what you need to do. Go ahead and click on installations up here at the top, and then go ahead and click on a new installation. When you click on the new installation button here, you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play play.breakdowncraft.com. Why well, am I naming it that? Because that's our own incredible 1.7 Greek protected survival server. Aquatic Survival has 30 custom quests. It's absolutely incredible. We have amazing, amazing Skyblock server. You will absolutely love it. So come play with us. Test Optifine on it. Play.breakdowncraft.com 1.17. Come play with us. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box here. And then we want to find release 1.17 Optifine. Go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to change our resolution. You don't have to do that, but we're making a video and I want you all to be able to see once we get in game. The most important part of all this, though, is to make sure it does say release 1.17 Optifine there. And then click the green create button in the bottom right. We then now have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Most importantly, it says 1.17 Optifine under it. However, if you still do not not see Optifine here, what you need to do is click on the modded tab up here in the top left right. See this little modded button? Go ahead and click on that and then Optifine will appear here. It might even make this Optifine profile appear, but again, make sure you click on modded there and do that. I'm sorry about that. I should have done that before I created the profile. It just kind of slipped my brain and then I remembered it. But nevertheless, here it is. You can see Optifine is now appeared and specifically we have play.breakdowncraft.com with the 1.17 Optifine under it. So we can hover over that and click the green play button. We do again need to confirm we're playing modded Minecraft. Go ahead and click play, and now Optifine will open up in Minecraft 1.17. How awesome is that? I love it. Day one release of Optifine. I don't know how to handle it. I don't know how to handle it. I've not had or seen a day one Optifine release in as long as I've been doing Minecraft stuff. And, and we have been doing Minecraft stuff here since 20. 12, really. It was just insane. I've been playing Minecraft since 2010. It really does blow my mind, and uh, I do apologize if there's any lag while Minecraft's opening. We're going to try our best to edit around that, but yeah. Now, I do have the John Smith Legacy resource pack installed. Just ignore that. that uh, I should have installed it, but anyway, that, that is what it is. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. If we go into options, resource packs, so we can turn off John Smith Legacy. But there you go. Optifine is now installed. Prove it, Nick. Prove to me that Optifine's installed. I don't know for sure. It might not be. Well, here's how we know Optifine is installed. We can go to options, and then click on video settings, and then in the bottom left, we do have Optifine HD G9. Now, as you can see, shaders is not working. That was to be expected because this is in beta. I mean, it is very, very early in the Optifine development process. Like I said, though, a week from now, it probably won't be in beta. You will be able to install shaders, but right now, shaders is not available. As soon as it does become available, we'll do a video on it on this channel. So be sure to subscribe to the channel for all of that stuff. Also, be sure to subscribe if you are having issues running Minecraft 1.17. You want to stop lagging Minecraft 1.17. We have a video with a bunch of Minecraft 1.17 lag fixes, including Minecraft and how to use Minecraft to reduce lag. Now, one thing I will also mention is we have the super render distance, 48 chunks, that Optifine does add in. On top of that, we do have the different quality settings and the performance settings as well as details. Additional animations, you can do off specific particle effects in different animations in Minecraft. Right now, they're all off. And then the other, which gives you like show FPS on screen and stuff like that. Last but not least, I will go ahead and join in game. For no other reason, just to prove that this is really working. This is really Optifine. We can play a game. We can jump in Minecraft. But Optifine is installed for 1.17. Blow my mind. Day one Optifine release blows my mind. I said we have not seen that literally ever. And, and, and it just blows my mind. So here we are in game. Uh, it looks kind of bad because uh, Optifine settings are very minimal. But you can fix that yourself. Uh, Optifine is really cool because you can make Minecraft look really bad or look really good. But our FPS isn't that horrible. So now we can go ahead and jump real fast back into video settings. And there was one more thing I wanted to show you. And that is going to be show GL error. So sometimes I will have a GL error. And that's just going to be an error that pops up over and over again in chat occasionally. See if I can pop it up. Maybe it's not going to happen anymore. If you do have those errors popping up in chat, go into options and turn them off by going to video settings, other, and then show GL errors. Turn those off. That is one thing I would recommend doing. Uh, GL errors are just, they're there. And they're not hurting your computer. They're not hurting Minecraft. They're not hurting Optifine. But they're happening. And Optifine wants to notify you of that. And uh, you can turn them off when uh, you don't want them. And most of the people watching this video don't need them. And then I have, there you have it. That is how you can download and install Optifine in Minecraft 1.17. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Over there, you'll find 1.17 Grief Protected Survival, as well as an incredible Skyblock server with amazing custom quests, all that stuff. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I can always see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.